What's going on guys? It's CV Sukiyomi and today we're going to do a pro card segment. I haven't done one in I think a week so it's about time I show one. So today's pro card segment I'm going to do on Reckless Express. Now before I go into it for anyone who watches these video segments Pro card segment does not mean it's a pro card, like it's the best card you should always run it. It's just a segment I named basically to stick out from some of the other segments and um, just talk about cards that I think are good. And uh, basically today we're going to be talking about Reckless Express. Reckless Express is a Spike Brother Grade 1 with 5,000 shield. Its skill is when this unit attacks... Wait, let me... Re let me hold on. Yes, when this unit attacks, you can Soul Blast 1, it gains plus 5,000. For a grade one. Now, for a lot of people who don't know, um, Spike Brothers, you're basically supposed to um, hit for early damage. So basically, you have to commit to the board kind of quickly, so then you can put your opponents right at the damage spot you need to to really win on turn like five or six, because that's what the deck does, and it's amazing. Like it's my favorite. Like there's, <laughs> it's not my favorite artwork deck, but the things it does is probably my favorite deck. So. Anyways, um, Reckless Express, why is it a pro card? Why is it basically a unique... It's basically a very unique and very versatile card. What it does is, I mean, not only is it a booster, but it is also... It's also an attacker. So let's say, um, basically, like, you're at turn one, you ride your grade one, and you want to... Well, let's say your opponent went first, and you ride a grade one, just some random grade one, let's say, and, uh... Hold on. We're going to do this really quick. That way it makes more sense. So that's your grade one right there. You ride your grade one, and your grade one spike brother or something, and then you call, let's say you want to try to push for damage or something. Then you can play the Reckless Express and swing for damage. You can swing at the Vanguard, swing for this. They either have to guard it or they have to drop it. So, or they have to... They have to guard it or they take damage. So really good because 7 is good because if they have a 7k Vanguard and you swing with this with its skill, it goes up to 12 and they basically, they will probably have to guard, they probably will take it or they'll guard it for 10, which is good for you because you dropped a 10 out of their hand. So that's one thing you can do and it goes back in the deck. Another, that's like if you get it early game or, de well, depending on your hand. But not only does it attack, basic, basically another play, so another cool play you can do is you can you can call it to a rear guard circle like a back row or back back circle, and you can you let's say you're at grade two now okay this is grade two, and you call another grade two, and let's say you have maybe a booster, so then you do this you go, uh well hold on you swing, okay they either take it or they guard fine, and then you do you swing again. And they either take it or they guard. So fine. No big deal. Next turn, they start attacking you. You can intercept with this. And then you can push this up to the front. And you can swing. You can still swing. So it's a, it actually ends up... It's being it's really versatile in that aspect that, you know, for Spike Brothers, it, just, it can tag out, tag back in. And it does... It, basically, you attack, goes back in the deck. I mean, it's, it's good. You just have to know, I think, how to really use it. Because, like, I'm not the best at using it just yet. But I really do like this card. This card is just absolutely good. Like, it's, like, my favorite. I only play three right now because, like, really, I only have room to play three, as bad as that sounds. But three seems to be just fine for me. So, um, yeah, this card's really good. Like, not only can it attack, not only can it boost, but can also attack. And it, and it basically aids you in that Dudley Emperor play. So, really good stuff. I mean really versatile card um he does a lot of good neat plays for you he he just puts damage on the spot he just might he just um helps you um get cards out of your opponent's hand which is essentially what you want so um really good card you know uh i recommend playing three to four um i guess you could get away with playing two so you could play two to four up to you depending on what kind of deck you play if you're playing the perfect guard spike brothers deck you probably only have room for two or three if you're playing the no perfect guard spike brother deck you have room to play four so it's good for you so um yeah so that's the pro card segment today guys um so cv sukiyomi signing out reese's pieces